Hey guys, I'm Adam from Top Dog, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can take this toy and with a couple of very simple modifications, turn it into this thing, and believe it or not, save you about 20 or 40 bucks a month, depending on how much your dog likes to play and rip toys up. So stay tuned, enjoy, and we'll be right back. Whoa. All right guys, let's get into it then. So how can this possibly save you a whole bunch of money? Well, let me tell you, What's happened in my house is that my dogs love to tear stuffed toys apart. They take these things, rip the head off. This used to be a little uh, dinosaur thing. He no longer has a head and he's got a big old hole right here by his tail. And uh, they rip all this stuffing out and it ends up looking like it's snowed in my living room whenever I give my dogs a stuffed animal. So this has pretty much replaced my stuffed animal purchases completely. I have several of these now, and instead of having to have a bunch of stuffed animals that are always getting replaced, I've got these, and they're like reusable stuffed animals. Let me show you what I'm talking about. What these are, this is a Holy Roller, and it is made by JW Pet Company. And the cool thing about these is that they're pretty durable just by themselves. They make a good fetch toy, but I like to make them even more interactive, something that the dog can work at and enjoy just a little bit. But what you do is you take and you stuff it full of these long strips of really durable fabric. And I'm gonna tell you more about that here in just a second. And it ends up being something that the dog can work at to dig out without having to uh, completely destroy something that you'd have to throw away and then go repurchase. This is something that I can go around, pick up, clean up, and put back away. So when, uh, when you're getting started, obviously first you need to get one of these balls. And we're gonna include a link down below where you can find them on Amazon. They come in five different sizes. I typically stick with these two sizes. This is the small. This is a great size for just your really small, your toy breeds, um, and uh, will work great for them. You can shove, you know, you can still get quite a bit of these inside of there, and so it's still gonna be really fun for your dog to have to pull them out. And sometimes I'll even use these for dogs like Zeno, who are really smart, and they can pull this out really fast and easy. These holes are a little smaller, so it makes it a little bit more of a challenge. He has to work at it just a little bit more to pull these out. You wanna use a durable type of fabric. I wouldn't recommend cutting up a T-shirt or any you know cotton material or anything like that. That's probably not gonna work out too well. This right here, I usually like to use either felt, sometimes in a pinch, I'll use flannel, uh, or this, which is fleece. Um, and a lot of those you can pick up at fabric stores like Joann's. Uh, Michael's has these felt strips that go 50% off a couple times a year, so that's a really cheap option. Or if you got an old sweater laying around, an old fleece sweater that you can just cut up into some strips, that'll work perfectly. And a couple of little things that I've learned along the way that are really important. First of all, if your dog is the type of dog that is like mine, where he just likes to rip the stuffing out, go back, rip the stuffing out, go back, rip the stuffing out, and then just make a big mess, these are gonna be perfect for you. If your dog is the type of dog that likes to rip the stuffing out and swallow the stuffing, this is not a good option for you. You should go to my blog and check out some toys that I recommend on there that are durable and interactive that your dog can just keep chewing on and keep and, and try to dig treats out of. You just gotta be really smart about it. You know, it just uh, it stinks that we have to put disclaimers out there, but let's face it, you gotta be smart about it. You gotta know your dog, you gotta trust your dog. You gotta understand what toys work for your dog and what toys don't. And so if your dog is gonna take this and try to swallow these strips, then it's not for you. And as with any toy, when you first give it to your dog, you should observe your dog. Don't throw this to him and then go to work. Um, you need to observe your dog and make sure you're monitoring them to see if there's gonna be any issues with it. A couple little things I've learned as I'm cutting up my strips. Uh, like I said earlier, this one's fleece. I've uh, learned that I should cut them at least an inch and a half wide. Um, and, and my cuts aren't perfectly straight. You can see some places it gets a little skinny, but I should make them at least an inch and a half wide because as the dogs play with them and they get wet, they start to curl and they can get really skinny if you don't start off with them at least an inch and a half wide. Um, the second thing I've learned is that I like them at least 14 to 24 inches or so, any shorter than that, and it's not much of a challenge for the dog to pull it out. So don't do little bitty short strips. It also makes it easier for cleanup because when I go around at the end of the day, again, Part of the purpose of this is that we're saving money. The other purpose is just to make it easier to clean up. You know, this stuff ends up strewn all about the living room. These things, I walk around, pick up like 12 or 13 of these strips, shove them back in, we're good to go for the next day. Now, one of the things that I've found that makes it a little bit easier for the dog when you're first starting off is leave a few little tail ends sticking out 
to kind of get the dog's interest peaked right off at the bat. Uh, if the dog comes up and says that that looks impossible right off the bat, they're probably not going to be super likely to want to play with it. So I leave a few little tails sticking out when I first play with it. I might entice them a little bit, play with them, give it, take it, give it, take it to get them kind of amped up. And then most of the time they figure it out. And if they're a dog that likes to rip up stuffed animals, they're going to be a dog that really enjoys this and it's going to save you a lot of money. You're going to enjoy it too. Makes cleanup a lot easier, saves you money. What's not to love about that? Again, these are made by JW Pet Company. There will be a link down below. This is the Holy Roller, and this is our little hack for getting rid of those messes and those expensive toys that we're always having to buy. Buy a few of these, and uh, they'll last you a whole lot longer, and you'll find that uh, it's a little bit easier on the wallet for you. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you like this, please do me a favor. Hit that like button, subscribe down below, uh, and of course tell me what you think about this idea. I think it's great. I wish I knew who originally came up with it. I still haven't seen it become a widespread idea. That's why I want to share it with you guys today. Uh, but comment down below, tell us what you think. If you do end up making it, I'd love to hear how, how much your dog enjoys it. So put that down in the comments as well. And uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I'm Adam from Top Dog, and we'll see you next time.